It will be several days until the trailer under the bridge can be removed. At the moment, though, it's lodged in the mud. The fire department says it is miraculous only one person has minor injuries from this wreck. Sky 4 will continue to fly over the bridge during our news to bring you traffic updates. We begin our coverage with News 4 Jacks reporter Jim Piggott, who's live near Merrill Road with an update on both the crash and the traffic. Jim? You know, Tom, I'm right here. This is Merrill Road at 295, and you can see it is still blocked off and traffic is being diverted at least up onto 295 northbound over the bridge because they're still doing cleanup there. And with Sky 4, you can see that cleanup is still underway. They hope to get that done, though, I'd say within the hour so traffic can get going. You got to imagine a lot of people taking this road, trying to get to the airport for holiday travel, at least at this point. But I want to show you some of the scenes from earlier today, just at how bad this accident looked. What I want to show you are some pictures from JFRD from the fire department, where you can see that semi truck actually dangling over the bridge. The trailer of it already dropped into the water and is still in the water there. There were other cars involved as well. Uh, another red car that was just smashed. And then a Ford F-150 pickup truck. Somebody said it was smashed so bad that it looked like a smart car. And the beginning of all of this, what had actually, where this accident began, was an older tow truck, which was, it was having some problems, and it stopped near the bridge, and that's kind of what led to the accident. Now, just a short time ago, I was up there on top of the bridge. FHP escorted us up there to get a look at what's happening right now. Here's what I saw. So I'm standing here on top of the Dames Point Bridge. I want to show you what they're doing as they're still cleaning up after this accident. You can see the crews are out here uh, fixing this guardrail where chunks were taken out. But the most important thing, look at that. You can still see the cab from that semi tractor trailer that they have a crane out here. They're trying to upright that to get this bridge, this uh, this uh, lane back opened out here. I'm standing, this is actually the northbound lane. It's still closed. They're working to try to get this. There are still some of the other vehicles that were involved. They're on tow trucks up here. As we had mentioned, four vehicles involved. One person was injured and it's not life threatening. And talking to people out here, they just can't believe that that was actually the case because they thought this was gonna be much worse when they saw all of the damage. It looked like a small car. That's how small it was. And then the smaller car looked even smaller than that. It looked like the vehicles played ping pong on the bridge from left to right. Huge chunks missing out of the, the barrier on the outside. I mean, I, I was scared that somebody had may have possibly went over. That's how bad it looked. And you know, down in the water there is actually the trailer from that semi. And it's going to take a few days to get that out. Uh, they're going to bring in a barge in order to do that. Uh, the water there is shallow, as you can obviously see. So that's the problem. The structural integrity of the bridge, that's in question as well. So um, DOT was out here taking a look, but they believe that it is going to be safe, even though we saw some of the chunks of the side from that guardrail taken out. They are making some quick repairs, and they believe that it's going to be safe. So hopefully, within the next hour, traffic will be moving. For now, we're live near the Dames Point Bridge. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.